All right. We'll move on from there. Now we're going to Texas State. The Bobcats. Keep forgetting you got the U up there. Three and nine. One and seven in the conference last year. Six starters back on offense, ten back on defense. The number one most experienced team in the conference, number two most experienced in the country. Brand new head coach Jake Spavital, former OC at West Virginia, Cal, and Texas AM. The new offensive coordinator there is legendary Bob Stitt. He was the former head coach at Montana. Incredibly innovative. Incredibly innovative. Uh, the defense went from allowing 6.8 yards per play, that's number 115 in the country, in 2017 to 5.1 last year. That was number 28 in the country. Uh, they are returning a ton of experience on defense. So they improved a bunch last year. Imagine what it'll be like this year. It's the most experienced team in the conference and the country, well, second in the country. If the offense clicks even a little bit between uh, Stitt and Spavital. This schedule sets up decently for a bowl run. Now I don't have a making a bowl, but so we're we're pretty different. But, I, but well, I don't know how different. I don't know how different we are. Okay. Um, I'll tell you this. I've got them at three and nine, and I'll go through the schedule here in a second. But three and nine, two and six in conference. I think they win against uh, South Alabama at home. I think they win against Georgia State. So that's the difference. Okay, we got the South Alabama game. I've got them two and ten. Um, and it's the difference in that game. And, and and let me give you my reasonings for all this. They've got a lot of experience, and then they've got all of these new offensive schemes and, and new coaches coming in. You can take all that experience and throw it out the window. If they're trying new – you've got a new innovative coach, that guy doesn't need the experience. He wants dudes that have never taken a snap in college that he can say, I'm going to mold you. I'm going to groom you. I'm going to teach you my offense because he is innovative, and they've been running stale stuff. I don't yeah. I don't know that a guy that ran stale stuff for a couple of years can just say, put me with a mathematician that's going to figure out all these angles and say this is the creative offense I'm putting together and work. I think sometimes – we've had this conversation about some of these teams. I think sometimes these coaches make things too complicated. I can believe that. And I think – you, when you have athletes, you need to simplify. Find, we we'll talk about this all the time. Find what somebody's good at, and exploit. Just do it over and over and over again. Yeah. And I think sometimes these guys are geniuses. They're absolute geniuses. But but if your talent's not that level genius, then you've got to do what's best for the talent. And you can't just say, "Well, I've got this brain. I've got this game plan." And if you would just execute it, we'll win all our games. Yeah, I think they make this stuff too complicated. That's my long-winded reason for why I all that experience does not matter if you're going to completely change everything about what they've done. Now, I, I think the first three games are the reason why I have them beating Georgia State. Uh, they play at Texas a and Wyoming at home, and at SMU. I've got them losing all three of those. Obviously. But I think that they can get Georgia State after seeing – those, those talent. That's right. If you play Georgia State immediately coming off of those guys, then yeah. Well, it's the same reason that batters, like, they have the weighted bat before they get up and swing at, right. you know, a fastball. So, something like that. I mean, then they've they've got Nichols. I think I think they get the Nichols win. Um, but, yeah, they play at Arkansas State, at Louisiana, and then they come back uh, for the first time in a month against South Alabama, I think they can find a way to get that one. Where, where we're different is just, yeah, in conference. Yeah, and it's in, Georgia State, South Alabama. In Texas State. Texas State. That's it. Those three teams, and I've got – 